Not too, too bad, though. And that should be about enough of this floor for me to be happy with at the moment. And so... Let's just head to those gates, shall we? Excuse me, friend. I'll just ignore you for now. Probably also even ignore you if you'll, uh, if you'll let me. And rinse and repeat. Just keep ignoring. Okie dokes. Holy moly. We're definitely hitting all the pan floors here today. There's our exit strategy. So we could take our, uh, our first path out of here. Hmm. I want to do so right away. Should I explore for a little bit here? See what kind of consumables we can get? Could be could be the goods. There could also just be a bunch of tormentors and a pan lord all hanging out together in the same room. That's that's just great. Okay. Well condenser vein, are these uh negative energy clouds? They unfortunately are. Oh my gosh, that's quite the uh, selection of tits middles. Holy moly. Distortion branded attack on you, hey my friend? Well, I'll do a bit of blink action of my own. Followed by a heal and that will get us the heck out of dodge for now. Ooh, me oh my. Little bit scarier than we otherwise might like but so far, so good. And there, there are all of our Tits Metal friends. Why, hello there. Glad you could, uh, ooh, separate yourselves a bit from the bunch. Let's open up a pathway for us to just tag team the uh, Hell Sentinel there with unlimited crystal spheres. Okay, well this has been the scariest floor so far, which I wouldn't have expected coming in here. <laughs> well, I guess oh, we weren't actually that far now that I now that I see it for myself. And cast into the abyss. <laughs> well, okie dokie. Ooh, in abyss five too. How about that? Let's definitely bring out our, our statue form. Should probably bring out the spell for servitor so that we're conserving magic as much as we possibly can. Do I just have temporary berserkitis or did I get this again? <laughs> Must have had it temporarily, seeing as how uh, it is already gone. Right, I didn't just miss it there, correct? Yes, does not seem to be the case. So that is perfect. But let's let's explore some new tiles here. Try to get that exit portal to show up, if at all possible. Hey Abyss, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be pretty swell? Definitely a little bit. Uh, more intensive of an area than I was expecting. I was hoping that we could just immediately take a gateway out of here, but I guess it is a good amount of resources, especially if we do take the time to uh, to pick up all the cash that we're leaving lying around, which we almost might as well at this point. Might be better off just waiting for getting enough experience to be shuttled out of here. And there we go. Gateway leading out. I'm in a fairly decent spot. Let's do it. Okay. And now we're back with all of our friends here. I guess we could just start launching some crystal spheres of our own. I do not love... Oh gosh, even more tits middles once again. Let's, let's uh, potion petition. We haven't been doing that much today. Bit of resistance is not ideal, but it works for the moment. And oh gosh. Never a dull moment for sure. If I could try to take care of some of our tormenting buddies here. In fact, let's just potion petition again, shall we? This is a bit expensive for my tastes, but does give us a nice slew of abilities. 
And there we go. Okay, finally, given a, a bit of a reprieve here, some moments to recover, or at least so it seems. No promises, of course. Go spell for servitor, please. So, okay, that does mean that some of the more uh, torment centric areas of the game are probably going to give us some trouble, um, specifically when we do run across our favorite friend Glorks, where we're hopefully going to begin some revenge for Troglodyte. Hey, Jazzy, how's it going? Hope your week is going well, my friend. Welcome, welcome. You know what? Let us. I think we're just going to head out. Temporarily here. Go find some amnesia scrolls and uh, reconfigure our selection of abilities here just slightly. So let's do that now. I guess the one thing I haven't done in this regard is actually take a look as to what we're getting rid of. I mean, I guess dragon form. It almost hurts me to do so. Right, but dragon form, iron shot. Those we're not really using here. Ozku's armor we could also get rid of, but only three spell levels is not a uh, huge amount to spend moving onwards. Things are good. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. How's my week been? It's been pretty fantastic. It was nice having the, the short week with the Friday off. Kind of wish I got the Monday off too, but it'll be nice to get back into work and be busy again. Got a lot done around the house over the weekend. Trying to... Uh, bring my habits into a slightly health or a slightly healthier space I guess is uh, what I'm going for there I'm trying to eat better trying to get back to working out again because I haven't done that in forever and I'm finally managing to uh, gain weight after covid I lost a lot of weight during the initial few rounds of quarantine so I'm hoping to to take that and uh, make good progress with it. Specifically what I want to do, but I would ideally try to find a friend that I could convince to do it with me, is I want to get back into rock climbing. I used to rock climb a lot and I just adore doing it, but I have not gone off my butt in a long time. But that that's the kind of working out I prefer. I'm not huge into just working out for the sake of working out. Generally, I like doing something and kind of having a, a fun functional reason to be uh, improving on myself. So that's the the plan, which this weekend was a good start at the very least. That's sick, you just got back from a super long session at the climbing gym. Oh, nice. Do you do mostly like top rope climbing, bouldering? What's your uh, preferred style? Because I definitely historically have done a lot more bouldering than anything else. Hey, nice, you as well, perfect. Yeah, bouldering is so much fun. I love the kind of puzzle aspect mixed with the the physicality of it all. Plus it helps because uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm afraid of heights, but I definitely don't have the best response to heights. Specifically, I start sweating profusely immediately. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy to do any any type of climbing that uh, I can get away with. Bouldering is probably what I'll get into because it's a bit easier to uh, to do so without needing to convince someone to go with me. I don't need a belay partner. But yeah, we'll see. See how that goes. Hopefully I can get back into it because I used to do quite a bit. And really I have lots of good excuses to, uh, to get climbing done. So my siblings are really into it, specifically my my younger sister, so I'd like to, uh, to get back into it because that's a fun thing that we could do when we do end up visiting each other. She is out in BC, but every once in a while we definitely like to, to try and get together. But there we go. We do manage to uh, get all the amnesia scrolls we are looking for. We can probably just get ready to head back in. We, of course, will use those freed up slots to get ignition which is what we just did and is there anything else i want dispersal yeah revivification actually is a fantastic little panic button so let's bring that this gym doesn't have anything else you did learn to crack climb today which is nice there's a short crack in the wall oh that's very cool yeah i've never really done crack climbing getting used to all the different uh wedges you can do 
that always that just the idea of that scares me it's so funny to hear like experienced climbers talk about how like you can just stick your fist into the crack and then expand it by clenching it and then you can just hang off that and you know you're not needing to work out you're not using muscles you're just hanging off the structure of your body but just the thought of my wrist pulling like that gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies but yeah climbing is such a okay i thought we might have landed in a special vault or er, pan area but not quite yet but climbing is such a uh, a fun hobby so hopefully i can get back into that Ooh, boots of the onion unfortunately not quite gonna cut it honestly the thought of losing your feet and scraping your hands down the crack did occur to me right if you suddenly slip down all of a sudden all your weights on that uh that wedge that you've put in but i would i probably should just uh trust the word of the more you know experienced climbers who actually put the uh process into effect because they probably sneak in suspicion they know what they're talking about more than me who has very limited experience are you kids immune to fire oof well, let's just start walking apparently we'll lose most of the contingent okay there we go. Spellforge Surger, if you can do some of the uh, the cleanup and leave us with the, just the Panlord. Speak of the devil. Why, hello there, friend. Perfect. Again, I did not see what you actually did. You had a Chaos brand attack, so that could have definitely uh, turned out a wee bit horrifically, but I will gladly take it. <laughs> a Berserk <laughs> Tormentor. Almost feel bad for the fella. But perfect, not too shabby. And let's see, any any treasures await us? Doesn't really look like it. And in fact, this is where we might start hopping and skipping our way through a little bit just so we can keep progress going. Maybe sons of guns. I'm used to being scared of those, uh, I forget, what were they, what is it called? Revenants still a little traumatized by our our ghoul character and not noticing at first the revenants had to spell and end but not too shabby not quite as worrisome here on our our lovely ghoul nathaniel okie dokie well let's get exploring shall we oh and there we go perfect immediately find another gateway so we'll keep popping through Hopping and locking. Ooh. And speaking of which, okay, I guess we're gonna have to deal with the welcoming party first. Hello, my friends. And then we will continue our hop, skip, and a jump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and not for the life of me find one of the main hand floors. I will grab a cancellation potion though, don't mind if I do. Probably don't need potions of flight, so we'll just keep going um okay oh this is still a, a nothing floor um hmm it's still not ideal so i think i will read a, a teleport to just hop ourselves out of here okay it turns out we could have potentially just fought as we kill the pan lord in our final moments in the zone but that is fine better safe than sorry and I don't mind taking the, the safe retreat there just in case things go horribly wrong. Not too shabby. Also, finally might have realized what happened earlier. I don't think we fought a chaos spawn. I think we fought uh, an eye of devastation and I just uh, did not realize what was going on on my end. Perfect. Body sometimes deteriorates. I feel like, did we lose another one of our positives? I know we lost scales by our own action. RCR poison, we still have our genetic potential. I don't know, if we could uh, get some, some movement there, get some of that uh, genetic potential actually showing up, could be fun, could be nice. 
Um, and another invisible friend somewhere here. There you are. Maybe? Hello? There we go. <laughs> Just randomly stumbling around trying to find them. Swing our axe like a, the mad lad we are. Okie dokie. And with that, definitely stabilized. If I could just find myself a gate. Ah, or resistance. That works too. Also speak of the devil. In fact, maybe before we head through, we'll grab a few things. Ah, sure. Could always use some more lick potions. It's nice to turn into a tree sometimes. There we go. Okay, no legs realm. So we're finally getting one of the real pandemonium runes. Let's see how she goes, hey? Will we get... This is also actually kind of revenge for our goal. Even though Glorx was the, uh, the one who cast the final blow, it was definitely mostly due to Nolig's realm that we even found ourselves in that nasty situation to begin with. So, revenge! Hey, Drinks, you hope I'm well? I am, Ned. Hope you're doing well, too. Lovely to see you. Thanks for dropping by today. Hope your, your week is going fantastic. And that you had a, a wonderful long weekend if you are somewhere that that celebrates the long weekend here. Whether that be the actual holiday or just enjoying the, uh, the one day break. I definitely... When was the last time I actually celebrated Easter? Not for a long, long time. Not that my family ever did too, too much. It was mostly like some fun little egg hunt things. I do really enjoy egg hunts. In fact, that's something that even my, my current partner and I have done a few times, is we'll just uh, take turns hiding things around the house for each other. It's always such a such a fun time. Ah, we did get Berserkitis once again here. <laughs> Thanks, no leg. Um, hmm. Minus 20% MP, also not great. I think I might have to give up on this in genetic potential. <laughs> feel healthier, feel agile. We did lose our our potential, unfortunately. Spells are a little easier to cast, but a little less powerful. It's not ideal. We'll probably want to get rid of it eventually. But for the moment, actually, does that even make level 9 spells a potential option? 24%, almost. It's It's getting there, folks. Got your first two three rune wins recently? Nice, congrats. That's huge. What did you end up getting? Uh, what kind of run did you take into those first couple of huge victories? General, very, uh, very happy to hear it. Congrats again. Okay, and this looks like did I feel clever? Did you give me a good one? Hey, you did. Thanks, friend. Oh, frail. Parent, ooh, occasionally lose the ability to read scrolls. Oof. Do you have plus four int? I'm gonna risk drinking some more uh, mutation right away. Lose our... <laughs> basically just lose all of our good stuff. <laughs> feel res less resistant to poisons. Great. <laughs> Did not lose the uh, the main contenders there, so we're gonna hop in. Do not regenerate when monsters are visible. Oh no, what are you doing to me, DCSS? <laughs> Only have six more mutation potions. Don't we're doing one more. Oof, still don't regenerate. Have sharp toenails though. That's nice. <laughs> First one was a Minotaur Gladiator of Wujian, and the second was a Demon Spawn Fire Mantelist of Hep. Oh, nice. Nice, those are fun fun runs to get your first victory with. I need to go back to playing a Wujian character at some point. I haven't done so since, I think, um, our Kobold that was in our, our Great Player series. So definitely would like to uh, explore it again at some point, because I did really enjoy playing with them as a, a deity. Definitely a lot of fun. I think we're just going to have to sprint through the rest of this area here. We can worry about the potion or the mutation roulette when we are a little closer to uh, 
escaping with our lives. You know what? That's actually probably good enough for me to put up some clouds. Negative energy. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, me oh my. So we're going to be getting mutated up the wazoo here. Um, I guess, how are all of your ACs? They're not great. Hmm. Lots of summoning on this, buddy. Wujian was good fun. Heavenly Storm felt like a really strong melee problem solver on an already strong melee character. Nice, yeah, I don't think we ended up using Heavenly Storm much. Largely, we were just taking advantage of Serpent's Lash to get free backstabs, but definitely seemed really good the couple times that we did try it. Haste, Might, and Heavenly Storm with a Vamp Axe made your first Vaults 5 pretty doable. Oh wow, Vaults 5 on a melee character too. Nice, well, gr great work. Very, uh, happy to hear it. Um... Maybe I had Tremor Stone? Oh, I do have a Servitor up. Okay, I didn't realize that the, uh, the summoning actually went through. Why, hello there, friend. Do you actually malmutate yourself? No, you just let other people do your heavy work, okay? Well, let's go with some uh, Ocean Petition goodness here. Brilliance and Magic is a nice little combo for sure. And in fact, you know, let's do... Another quick blitz. Fantastic. And C. A. Perfect. Just get lucky, forehead. As we do max with capacitive coupling and blast that son of a gun into the, the next lifetime. Fantastic. Okay, and let's let's get out of dodge, shall we? <laughs> Have I found any gates? Take me back. Get me out of here, coach. Got advice on the haste and might beforehand. Thing wasn't a pure stumble into to vaults five. No, it's still uh still is a good achievement though. I definitely always get a little bit nervous doing it on melee characters though. I guess we pretty much dealt with it mainly as melee character even here today, even though we had access to quite a few spells. So definitely doable. Oh my gosh, look at all that red. <laughs> Okay, well, here goes. Only five mutation potions. Let's see, okay, body shape is normal, still very frail. We have two cold resistance. If I could get one of these, like, potion or scroll-based mutations to back off, that would be nice. Regeneration stops near monsters again. Still very frail. Generate stops. And we lose the ability to, uh... Read scrolls. Perfect. <laughs> One more time. Still frail. Have fire resistance now, though. Isn't that nice? <laughs> also have all sorts of stat bonuses coming in. Potions are less effective. It's not great. 190 health, hey? Opening the mutation menu and seeing a sea of red. Nice. Love to see it. Just perfect. Hmm. The get mutated dummy part of late game will take in used to for you. Sure it gets worse as you dive extended. This is the worst it gets to. Specifically this realm of pandemonium is the uh, the main issue for sure. But one more. One more for good luck. Skeletor structure is normal. No longer feel heat resistant. Boo. Feel healthier. I want to feel robust, not healthy. Um, hmm. Should I leave any potions? Hmm. One mutation potion lying around in Vaults 4. We will have to be careful to dodge around Boris. <laughs> you know, let's just get out of here first. Land in Lum. The bomb's lair, of course. <laughs> what else could we possibly expect? It's so, okay. I guess we're sticking around for the moment here. It is minus 20% health a deal breaker for Lom. It's not great for sure. I think that much is uh is fairly evident. <laughs> but it's probably not the end of the world. Hopefully we just get 
relatively lucky with our uh, Maxwell's capacitive coupling anyway, so I will take what I can get here. Excuse me, my invisible friend. Perfect. I mean, we're definitely making bank at the very least, so there is that. You can always lean a bit more onto, uh, onto our buddy old pal Gozeg here. Um, okay, it is you, my friend, okay? Okay, let's step up. There we go. Spellforge Servitor doing a heck of a good job clearing the way for us here, helping to get rid of the summoner. And we can hopefully do a wee bit of resting here, maybe. Maybe just maybe. I guess could also just spend some turns actively picking up all of the garbage, that works too. Ooh, but we do see an Abyss Gate here, so we do have the potential out to uh, get the heck out of Dodge. Try to maybe recover, get that Mutation Potion we left lying around. We could also explore Crypt, I guess. Could also try to call in some shops and see if we get lucky there. Hmm. Guess we'll see. As we get a, a little bit closer to being able to leave the area, we'll have to make that decision. And into Lom's Lair we go, eh? Ooh, Silver Javelins. Don't mind if I do. Another five of those bad boys is quite lovely. And... Gotta be getting pretty close to our, our entrance here. I'm tempted to use magic mapping at this point. Probably don't really wish to, uh, to bother with it. Okay, there's our, our main entrance, though. Might as well finish clearing around the outside, around the outside. Okie dokie. Well, no time like the present. And perfect. Well, that's a little bit of uh, an anticlimactic way to, uh, to wrap it up here, but I don't mind a bit of anticlimax whatsoever. More than happy to take the W where we can get it. And that is wonderful. So, do I try to get out of here? Temporarily, of course. I guess we almost just might as well. Slightly worried after our last trip to the Abyss, because it did not go quite as smoothly as I originally intended, but that's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Head on out. Fantastic. Excuse me, friends. Excuse me, pardon me. A little bit of murder action for your trouble. Thank you kindly. Um, oh gosh, this tab fighting just runs us through the gauntlet. Um, okay. I want to be a statue. Definitely want to spell for a servitor. And let us do some crystal spear action of our own here. Also a bit of a radiate to help finish the job, but not too shabby. Hey, save it, how's it going? Hope things have been well for you, my friend. Been missing all the uh the wonderful names that you always come up with. Left the people having to deal with my my dumbass trying to come up with good things. But regardless, nice to see you, friend. Yeah, minus 20% HP. Definitely rough. We're hoping that we can uh, stabilize here at some point. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We're at least offsetting it a little bit with our statue form. But not exactly the uh, the ideal strategy. Sorry, sorry, all of your pun powers are going towards making a funny restaurant names and plate up. <laughs> nice, nice. I should probably try plate up at some point. That's like a uh, roguelite kitchen simulator type thing, right? That seems like it could be a lot of fun. It also has multiplayer, I want to say. Eventually, do you know if it has uh, like couch co-op or if it's just online multiplayer? Regardless, I might try to sell some of my uh, my family on playing that with me because it would be a lot of fun to play in a group. Um, Do I just get out? Yeah. Guess we can finish 
finish the encounter here. Maybe pick up some of this gold we're lying around. It's like overcooked but better. Also you can play multiple inputs on one PC. Oh nice! So you can play with control on your wife and play on the keyboard. And yes, there's online multiplayer as well. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, maybe I'll try and see if my partner would be interested in, in playing it. Because if we can just buy one copy. Definitely makes things a little bit easier, though I probably would not mind making the investment. I'm pretty sure I would enjoy the game. Especially since we've... Do I have a... Oh, I do have a mutation that does that. Hello, friends. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Um, well, a bit of ignition never hurt nobody. Perfect. At the very least, we're quite powerful for this stage in the game, so we should be able to relatively safely burn through, even with a mited and hasted iron troll. Whoopsie daisies. Probably should have... Paid a bit more attention to that son of a gun, played it a little bit safer, but that's fine. Okie dokie. Can we, uh, can we chill game? Maybe, just maybe? A fire-based ring is probably not good enough for me, no. Uh, magic regeneration can also most likely leave by the wayside for now. Is this... Ooh, crystal tome. Well, that's fun. Oh, actually, hold up. No, no, no. Keep dealing with that son of a gun, please. Jeez, each of these is a crystal sphere? That's not okay. At least I can blast them all the kingdom come. Perfect. Holy moly. Um, alright, get rid of that exclusion. There we go. 